Now going over to the business blunder of the day, you have Dodge Ram having a recall. It's time to do some brakes. That's weird. Another union assembled vehicle. I'm kidding. I think many of these are actually made in Mexico, truth be told. But nevertheless, this comes to us thanks to Fox Business, which is somehow still in business, fascinatingly enough. Specifically, this is by the contributor by the name of Daniel Genovosi. And they say, quote, Stellantis recalls over 200,000 SUVs, trucks due to stability control issues. It affects certain Dodge 2022 Durangos, as well as the Ram 2500 and 3500 trucks, which are the more heavy-duty trucks. Now, of course, Stellantis, if you're not a gearhead or you don't know, that's a fancy European company name for the holding company that owns a lot of the brands that they consolidated ever since Chrysler Dodge Ram, or sorry, Chrysler Dodge Jeep. They actually went bankrupt in 2009 so bad, they are bought out by a European company by the name of Fiat, which they subsequently became FCA or Fiat Chrysler. And they've grown more, even more. They have more brands, including everything from, well, obviously Fiat, Chrysler, Jeep, but they also have things like Maserati and a couple other Italian companies. They, they're one of the largest portfolios out there. Definitely not look good to have another recall. Now, they say, quote, scientists are recalling over 200,000 SUVs and trucks due to a software malfunction that could impact the electronic stability control system. As a result of the malfunction, the anti lock brake system, ABS control module, and certain 2022 Durangos, Ram 2500 and 3500, quote, may disable the electronic stability control system and increase the risk of a crash, according to the NHTSA, also known as the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. The vehicles fail to comply with the federal safety standards, the auto regulator said. Which, eh, ABS is really important if you're in winter or in climactic weather, like if it's raining hard. Eh, it's definitely not a newer technology. It's been around for decades. But let's just say, again, not advice in terms of, I'm not saying how to drive, but let's say when I drive day to day, I never need ABS. It'll sometimes come on when I'm at the track or if I don't disable it at the track. But yeah, it's something where if I go to the grocery store, uh, not engaging it, even if it's raining. But nevertheless, it, so I just told Fox Business that a routine review of customer feedback prompted the investigation that discovered, quote, some of those may not be working right. Owners of the affected vehicles may notice the ABS malfunction indicator lamp is illuminated when the car is turned on. Dealerships are going to update the ABS control module for free just with the software update, which, yeah, this is basically the goal of Dodge Durango. I was going down to other details in terms of the timeline when people should be able to expect to hear this going on. They say that letters to owners who are impacted by the recall will be mailed out July 26th, or, you know, just tune into the show since it seems like half the business blunders are usually automotive related, probably because of one of the most complex, expensive purchases most people will make. Now, the company said that it's unaware of any injuries or accidents related to the vehicles. Still, the automaker urges customers to follow the instructions of the recall notice. So, definitely not good news for the brand. And again, especially when this is one of the most expensive, complex things most Americans will buy in their lifetime, second only to a house, it's not good to have yet another recall. And especially because, again, many people, it is a safety thing. And again, if you live in snow or it's raining a lot, again, it is important to have ABS. Although I like analog technology, nevertheless, it's one of those things where the average person is not going to be happy. They have to go to the dealership. Thankfully, it looks like, a, again, on the surface, it looks like a simple software flash should be able to fix it. So... I don't think it'll be something where your vehicle has to be even staying overnight or you'll be out without it for a long time. But it's still an inconvenience to chisel those away at the company's brand reputation. The hassle to go to the dealership and depending on the dealership allocation or the inventory levels, they may not be able to give you a loaner car, which again is another pain in the butt thing you have to deal with. Again, having an issue where the, again, it's the software, it wasn't programmed right. Gotta say that is Mr. Stellantis having a Dodge Ram and Durango. Again, one of the most popular things you sell is the truck. At having a recall is especially that is the business blunder of the day. Thank you everyone for taking the time to tune in. Again, try to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So if you could click that button, I would greatly appreciate it. Also, leaving a thumbs up, thumbs down, or comment is a great way to give me some additional feedback, letting me know how I can make the show better and better. Lastly, don't forget to take the time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe and fight the good fight.